Hello, poetry lovers and poetry curious. I am once again reading from the best love poems of the American people. And today I'm reading a series of response poems or a poem and three responses to it. So the poem is In Flanders Fields by John McRae. And then there's reply to In Flanders Fields. There's another reply to In Flanders Fields. And then there is America's answer. So this is in the section of this book titled Patriotism and War. And so there are others in here that I'm going to read from this section. Okay. In Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place, and in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though, pop though poppies grow in Flanders' fields. So that is the original poem. And then we have re reply, the first reply, reply to in Flanders Fields, which is by John Mitchell. O oh, sleep in peace where poppies grow, the torch your falling hands let go was caught by us, again held high, a beacon light in Flanders sky that dims the stars to those below. You are our dead, you held the foe, and ere the poppies cease to blow, We'll prove our faith in you who lie in Flanders' fields. O oh, rest in peace, we quickly go to you who bravely died, and know in other fields was heard the cry for freedom's cause of you who lie, so still asleep where poppies grow in Flanders' fields. As in rumbling sound, to and fro, the lightning flashes, sky aglow, the mighty hosts appear, and high above the din of battle cry. Scarce heard amidst the guns below are fearless hearts who fight the foe, and guard the place where poppies grow. O oh, sleep in peace, all you who lie in Flanders' fields. And still the poppies gently blow, between the crosses row on row, the larks still bravely soaring high, are singing now their lullaby to you who sleep where poppies grow in Flanders fields. And then we have another reply to In Flanders Fields. And it is by J. A. Armstrong. In Flanders fields, the cannons boom and fitful flashes light the gloom while up above, like eagles, fly the fierce destroyers of the sky, with stains the earth wherein you lie is redder than the poppy bloom in Flanders' fields. Sleep on, ye brave, the shrieking shell, the quaking trench, the startling yell, the fury of the battle hell shall wake you not, for all is well. Sleep peacefully, for all is well. Your flaming torch aloft we bear, with burning heart and oath we swear to keep the faith, to fight it through, to crush the foe, or sleep with you in Flanders, in Flanders fields. And lastly, America's Answer by R. W. Lilliard. Rest ye in peace, ye Flanders dead. The fight that ye so bravely led, we've taken up. And we will keep true faith with you who lie asleep with each a cross to mark his bed in Flanders' fields. Fear not that ye have died for naught. The torch ye threw to us we caught. Ten million hands will hold it high. And freedom's light will never die. 
We've learned the lesson that ye taught in Flanders fields. So, lovely poems of unity after the call from the dead of Flanders fields. Um, there we go. That set of poems, of reply poems. It's something that I have enjoyed in this volume is that there are a number of um, sections of poems with responses. And it's one of the things that um, I think is lost in large part when you don't have a lot of places that provide publication of what I would call more public poetry, more, um, if you will, mundane as opposed to high art poetry, is this kind of crosstalk, somebody asserting or saying something and somebody responding to it, whether it's this sort of thing, or we did Casey at the Bat and two replies to Casey at the Bat. Um, there was recently, I read the old Oaken Bucket and then a, uh, a sassy response to it um, from a different perspective. Yeah. And you don't, you get response poems between quote unquote professional poets, but it's lost to anyone else. And it's not usually about everyday things like drinking out of a bucket or a baseball game or, um, uh, you know, the war wartime events here. But anyway, I'll let you go and I'll be back soon.